Yes, Matt Hancock, or should I say Rat Hancock, is all over the news this morning for putting his ha- hands on the face of Gina Cola Delangelo, a woman who is not his wife, but his taxpayer-funded senior advisor. Doesn't look like two metres to me on the front of the sun this morning. Definitely not a lot of space between them. Remember, Matt. Always stay two metres away from people you don't live with. Now, who knew that in an emergency, your taxpayer-funded aid could be used as a mandated face covering? How did he do it? What was his chat-up line? Come forward now and get your jab. (laughs) Really, come on, though. Come on, come on. He He should have kept his... Candle of hope. ...to himself, and then he wouldn't have got it quite such a mess. Still this morning, Grant Shapps was out to defend his colleague... As I understand that photograph, it uh, looks like it was after the um, uh, unlock uh, stage, as it were. <laughs> I've not heard it called that before. Well, at least we now know what the Queen was talking about. I've just been talking to your Secretary of State for Health, poor man. He's, he's full of that. Yeah, well, now we know what he was full of. But there were just so many questions. Can Boris Johnson really sack someone for having an affair? Did Matt Hancock break the rules by hugging someone on May the 6th when it wasn't allowed until May the 17th? Should he have given a a job to a woman he's having an affair with? Has he now lost his Oliver Bonas discount card? Why, why, why did Matt Hancock post on Instagram yesterday, I work alongside some brilliant women. If you're a woman who wants to get involved in politics, swipe up. He genuinely did that yesterday. But the big question is, did he wash his hands for 20 seconds afterwards. Singing either happy birthday or God save the Queen.